Hello Masaka Universe, let's look at another one of my jerseys in my collection. I actually started today finally to summarize all the jerseys that I have and um, when I got them, from where I got them, if I've made videos, if I've made a blog post about it, I tried to summarize all that uh, today in an Excel file and maybe I can give you some summary. I at the moment wouldn't even know do I have more Adidas or more Nike jerseys. I actually would think it's more Adidas jerseys simply because I have so many Milan jerseys but uh, still I'm interested to see where this is going also Puma could have a point in there because you know Lask had Puma jerseys for a while Italy, I have a few Puma Italy jerseys and Austria has exclusively Puma so I'm curious to see what comes out on top if you ask me I think I have most jersey the brand that I have most of is Adidas pretty sure about that but that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, look at the jersey, and I basically let today's games uh, decide which jersey it will be. And it will be a Barcelona jersey with Barcelona winning against Atletico. The last one that I haven't shown you yet because it's kind of new. And yeah, it's a great jersey that I always wanted to have. This. 10-11 Barcelona jersey probably the one where Barcelona was at its peak I would even say I'm not sure if it was the best Messi because the next season probably had seen the best Messi but the one thing that's for sure this is the last time where UNICEF the UNICEF sponsor was on the front right after this one uh, they replaced it with Qatar Foundation and you know all the sponsorship deal with Barcelona so in that sense, it also has a little bit of a sentimental value, this one. Um, I remember seeing this the first time in uh, right before the World Cup in 2010, at the last day of the season, they were wear Barcelona was wearing this shirt. And I think they had, yeah, they wore a um, slightly thinner striped shirt the season before, the last one with Ibrahimovic, or the only one with Ibrahimovic. And I thought, yeah. It's, I'm glad that they're back to uh, what I call Barcelona striping. It's the classic striping. A thick center stripe and the other stripes of even width. Um, and the uh, red contains the two main logos. I was not too crazy about the yellow details, but it makes uh, a lot of sense to have the accents in yellow here. It gives the whole shirt a kind of unified look. You have the UNICEF here in yellow. You have the sleeve cuffs trimmed in yellow, Nike logo in yellow, the color in yellow, and then um, you have even the club logo, Mess Kion Club here, also in yellow. So it has a lot of yellow on there. The only thing that's white is the league patch, which um, to this day, you know, if I buy a Serie A jersey or a Premier League jersey, you can choose to. Do I want to have the league patch or do I want to have Champions League patch with uh, Spanish jerseys or La Liga jerseys? You always have the only chance is that you get it with the uh, league patch which i personally do not like i uh, i want to have the option to put it on there i want to have the option to get the champions league version um but yeah this is the jersey they wore on that great afternoon evening i actually watched in the morning or was it uh yeah the champions league Le Le league final it started just slightly before uh, slightly before noon in california i was watching in california but that was probably the most dominant I've seen uh, since 1994 when Milan completed the, the, um, destroyed Barcelona. Uh, the scoreline 3-1 was very flattering for United. I think it was, should have been even more. This was a clear demonstration of who's the best team and for that was the main reason why I always wanted to have the jersey. I remember already in 2013, maybe not at the time, it was not on the top of my list although i knew this is a really nice barca jersey uh but uh, the first time it really became on, on, on radar was in 2013 because i knew this is a special one i actually always went to have the one from the 2008-9 season the half and half look almost a little bit more but over time i realized that this is the jersey that I want to go to. The one thing I didn't like with the Overlook is that they were it was worn with red shorts, but unlike the 2005-06 season where it really bugged me, this time around it didn't bug me that much because there was enough blue in the shorts. And I think the Overlook was a little bit more Barca, although still blue shorts Barca, nothing else. Um, 
no red shorts. I don't like that personally. But yeah, I always liked the color. Uh, it looks overall really nice. The only thing that was weird, and this is only when I realized when I got it, look at the color. It's not a crew neck. It's kind of this fold over making a crew neck. Don't necessarily see the reason for that. Um, it is a plain one. And what I find most interesting is that here we have now the Catalan flag, which is now a um, Nike feature. I think I have it here in the 2006, 16, 17 version. You see here the Catalan flag. It's on the current jersey. It's also on the back. Uh, there it was not in, in the template. It was just the way how can we incorporate it before it was kind of here or it was on the collar. Now uh, they put it here, uh, which actually looks nice, but uh, you know, I know it's an identification point for uh, Barcelona, but for most of the time Barcelona didn't need to have a Catalonia flag on there. Same thing that Milan with their Italian flags all over bugs me. Barcelona doesn't bug me as much as Milan with the Italian flag, but um, yeah, I could also live without it. But overall, this is a really nice jersey. It is, of course, a replica version. There's a little bit of ventilation here in this panel on the sides. And also note that it's almost like the old style that the um, striping goes around. It's not like the current jersey where you have a big side panel that breaks up the very thin striping that they have this season. So uh, it's also nice. I bought it used for, I think, 20 euros. That I couldn't believe. I saw it for a lot more expensive, but the entire kit with the whole Wembley 2011 customization and honestly I was really thinking about it. I think it was even messy. I still am thinking about it but you know having this now kind of takes this. The only thing when I got it is that of course the size details and all that were kind of worn so you only can barely make them out but frankly I don't really care and also know that maybe some irony needs to happen. I mean, this is all still good, but I can feel that if this gets worn a little bit more, it might start coming off. So uh, I saw a video, the best thing is to take some baking sheet and with low heat iron over and it will be fine. Yes, it would be nice to have a messy back there. There's also a very small pull here. Barely noticeable, but it is there. So yeah. It's maybe not the perfect, perfect condition, but I think it's, it's, I would say this is excellent condition overall. Let me know what you think about this shirt. Ah, and also the sleeves are striped. Also something that we don't see that often anymore. Let me know what you think about this shirt in general and whether you like it, dislike, any memories attached to it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Another shirt video hopefully coming next week or the week thereafter. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.